show you how to put on my 3D gear lever onto a Auto Helm 4000 wheel. Uh, what you got from my 3D gear is the lever, which has a D-shaped hole in it, and a 1.5 millimeter stainless steel roll pin. The first thing to do is to check to make sure that the roll pin hole in the side of your D-shaft is still nice and round. If it's not, then drill it out with a 1 inch bit or preferably a 1.5 millimeter bit. Drill slowly and carefully uh, until you're sure that that hole is round. These are the tools that you're going to need. A regular kitchen knife is useful, a pair of channel lock pliers, and even a pair of needle nose pliers if you have them. What I want you to do is take your roll pin. You'll notice one end of your roll pin is pinched to a point. If it's not pinched to a bit of a point, then use your needle nose pliers and pinch the end of the roll pin until it's slightly pointed. That'll make it easier to insert it into the hole. Position the D-shaft in this sort of a position. You're going to want to put the lever on in this orientation with the D hole aligned with that. Make sure that you don't put it on so it's behind this pin because it'll be stuck and you won't be able to move it. So you're going to want to put it on in this orientation. Okay, so let's align the lever with the D hole and let's just push it on a little bit with our fingers to start. Just get it on a little bit. Now make sure that it's not on top of this pin or you won't be able to push it down. Now take the regular ordinary kitchen knife or some flat metallic object and put it on top of the lever hole and this stops the shaft from going all the way through too far. Uh, what you want to end up with is the shaft perfectly flush with the top of the hole. So put the kitchen knife on top of there and press until the lever goes on all the ways. Now that you can see the lever shaft is flush with the top of the hole. Make sure you don't actuate the lever fully, because what will happen if you do that, before you put the roll pin in, you'll strip the D-hole and ruin the lever. So wiggle it a little bit to make sure it works, but don't do a full actuation of it, because that will destroy the D-hole. Make sure that the hole is aligned by putting a paper clip or a small piece of wire through. Uh, feel around the edge of the hole and adjust the lever up and down with the knife until you get the hole aligned perfectly. If the hole isn't aligned perfectly, you'll bend your roll pin when you try to stick the roll pin through. So insert the roll pin into the hole, point it in first, as far as you can with your finger, and then using a set of channel lock pliers set to quite large, put the pliers on one side of the pin, and the other side of the pliers on the other side of the lever and slowly push the pin in. Don't use very much force or you'll bend the pin. Keep pushing until the pin goes in. Now you're going to have to adjust your pliers several times. If it's too hard, pull the pin out, move it, turn it at a different angle, readjust the hole. If you press too hard, you'll collapse and break the roll pin. If it's really too hard to do, take the entire assembly apart Use a 1 16th inch drill bit and drill through the shaft, enlarging the hole from the 1.5 millimeters to 1 16th of an inch. That should make things a lot easier for you, but it does usually require you to disassemble the control helm wheel. Mm -hmm.